I have a OnePlus Nord N100 here. I'm going to show you how to set it up step by step in the very beginning. All right. So first thing is go ahead and choose your language. I'm going to choose English in the U.S. I'm going to tap on Start. OnePlus's terms and conditions. You need to agree this to proceed. Go ahead and read through this and then tap on agree. Little window pops up here. I agree to the terms of the privacy policy and end user license agreement. Again, got to tap on agree to proceed. Connect mobile network. Basically, they're asking you to insert your SIM card now, but you can do it now or you can always do it later. For me, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to press on skip. And the next video I'll make is how to insert the... Um, SIM card, it'll be in the link below in the description, okay? Now from here, connect to your Wi-Fi. You can um, set it up offline or you can do your Wi-Fi now. I'm going to do my Wi-Fi now so I can get all the updates right now. So my Wi-Fi and then put in your Wi-Fi password. Once you insert the password, tap on connect. Give it one second. All right, there we go. Obtaining IP address. Connect it. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Installing updates. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you want to go ahead and proceed, go ahead and tap on next. For me, I have a, I want a clean slate on this phone. I'm just going to click on don't copy right here. Now it's asking for your Google sign-in, basically your Gmail. Okay, If you want to go ahead and sign in now, put in your email in right now. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create an account right now. Again, this is Gmail. Or you can always skip it and do it later. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it and I'll add my Gmail address later. I'll tap on skip here as well. Google services. Now all this is optional, guys. You can leave these unchecked or check or whatnot. I'm fine with all three of these. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on Accept. This is the OnePlus co-creation user programs. If you agree to this, you want to go ahead and look through all these down here. Or you can go ahead and skip it and not do this. Or you can agree to it. And then later on, you can um, turn that off if you go to Settings, System, Slash, uh, Experience, Improvement, Programs. Okay, for me, I'm fine with this. I'm going for, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on Agree. Asking you to set up a fingerprint password. You can go ahead and skip this and you can do a fingerprint password later on. I would advise just go ahead and do it now. So I'm going to do my fingerprint now. So I'm going to go and tap on next. First thing they're going to ask is for me to provide a four digit pin just in case if your um, fingerprint doesn't work or you don't want to use it or maybe you got burned or something like that. So here I'm going to go ahead and create a four digit pin. After I put it in one time, I'm going to tap on next. It's going to ask me to reconfirm or re enter again. I just re-entered it. Now I'm going to tap on confirm. Okay. Now, in regards to the fingerprint, it's on the back here. Okay. That little round thing right there. So what I'm going to do is tap on next. And it basically says, place your finger on the cover, the fingerprint identification area as much as possible. Then lift after you feel vibration. Okay. So finger, vibration, let go. Vibration, let go. And you can see... I'll just keep on. It says finger is dirty there. It's okay. Let me just keep on doing it. I'm just doing the same thing here. Let me just keep on going. Okay. Now it says edge input. So continue to adjust the position of your finger to get the finger tip edge information. So now we're going to tap on next. And now we're going to do the same thing, except now I'm just going to go ahead and kind of try to get my tips in here. It's vibrating. I can feel it. That was super quick. There you go. Okay, now from here, you can go ahead and add another finger if you wish, or you can just stick with one and click on next. And then later on, if you wish, you can add other fingers as well. Okay, I'm good with just, just one here. Let me tap on next. Review additional apps. Just go ahead and tap on OK there. Select the font system that you would use. Okay, they recommend uh, OnePlus Slate. I, I recommend that as well. So I'm going to go with that one there. I'm going to tap on next. And then the navigation bar and gestures, I mean, you can pick which one you want. For me, I like the navigation gestures. Uh, with the, uh, this one here, uh, recents, home, back, you actually get the, bottom, the buttons here on the bottom. If you like swipe up. Here there are none, but I prefer this navigation gesture. So I'm going to tap on next. And it's going to show me basically how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on start here. So to go back, I can swipe this way or this way. So... 
just did this one the demonstration there we go to go to the uh, home just from the bottom just swipe up like that and if you want to go to your recents menu all the apps that you basically have open and running in the background you want to do the same thing swipe up but stop right there and then let go and that'll bring up all of your um, recent apps apps are basically open setup is complete go ahead and tap on start and voila you guys are in business and ready to rock and roll now if you want to know how to insert the sim card look in the link below i'll be doing that video next